And we're talking about something now that's happened uh, yesterday on Australia Day, which is really something that we just got to talk about and we're absolutely disgusted by. Racial abuse to New South Wales and Canterbury flyer Josh Adokar has been reported by uh, the player to the police. He was a victim of a vile Instagram message and it basically goes like this, and I've made it as... um, PC as possible. I'm, and this bloke said to Adaka, I'm going to follow you on all your socials, you arrogant, using a colour, and then a lot of Fs and Cs and so forth. And good on Adaka. He goes, you know what? I'm going to report you to police. And the police are now on top of it. And it sort of brought up, I suppose, players. We want to be close to them, don't we? We want to know what they're all about, Dell. We want to see photos of them. We want to see them out, out there away from the field. But they put themselves out there for these vile people to have a crack. Have you... Have you had this situation yourself, mate? Yeah, look, I think I think for me, uh, you know, look, I like social media, but uh, there was years ago that I had a couple early in the piece and then I, I sort of go back on them a little bit and you're not going to win because you don't know who they are and there's obviously no law when you're going against them because, mate, mate people have said to me, oh, mate, you don't know who's at the end of that. And I, I don't care because you're getting passionate because you don't want to be racially abused and also you want to stick up for yourself and also your family. Yeah. You know, um, and... And for me, um, it was a lesson that I had to learn that just block them. But sometimes block them's not enough because, you know, it's got to change because you've got to change some things uh, in and around racial abuse if, if we want to get better. We're not getting better. Josh Adoka, I can't tell you, he, he's, he's a great role model for our game, does all the right things. Um, you know, Latrell Mitchell a couple of years ago started calling this stuff out and people were in Latrell because with Latrell, you either love him or hate him, some people. Yeah. Josh had a car. All he does is great things in and around our game. I'm so proud that Josh, you know, has called out. I know yesterday was, it's a very volatile day, which it shouldn't have to be. You know, Australia Day, you know, if you want to call it Australia Day or Invasion Day. And But Josh had a car just standing up for what he believes in. And this other doofus or I don't know, I don't know what to call him or, or him or she, I don't know. But there's got to be a law brought in where if you're going to post that sort of stuff, you know, there's there's got to be something. Um, yeah, got, to, they've got to, to be occur. shut down those accounts, yeah, don't they? They can't just about, be able to do with the one, the, the, yeah. whatever they want. We spoke about how much it was a, such a step forward with the freeing of the flag on Tuesday yes. and just the, the ability to say thing, things were starting to change. But it's 2022 and this stuff continues to, to occur. And I just hope that the New South Wales Police Hate Crimes Unit do get a hold of this person because it's just... Just well, awful. It's like Dill said, let's hope matter. that that person who registered as that social media person actually is that person. Yeah, that's right. Because so like you say, they're, they're just shells. Yeah. They can make up whatever names they want and do whatever they want. Yeah. And there's no person there to actually shut down the uh, yeah, the yeah. account on or, or to give them any sort of punishment. But if we, even like if, you, if you bring in things like if you've got to register your social media, you, you've got to link you know sort of your, your address or your name to it now. Yes. They've got to put that law in there too because there's even so much bullying online too with their younger people. You know, this guy, Gussie, oh, of course. So things have got to change. We want to be better in 2022. It hasn't started off great because of COVID still, but we can get better. Yeah, we can. And good on that, O'Carr. And let's, like you you say, Jude, let's hope the police fix it up and sort them out.